Shiny hunting is back and better than ever in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can shiny hunt Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So as you probably already know, shiny Pokemon are extremely rare alternative versions of regular Pokemon. If you are attending classes in Mezagosa, you'll know that the chances of coming across a shiny in the wild are roughly 1 in 4,000. Although to be exact, these odds are 1 in 4,096. But like most other older Pokemon games, Scarlet and Violet does have ways in which you can reduce these odds to make shinies appear more often. But before we jump into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. The first things to note in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the Pokemon that are shiny locked. This means no matter what you do, these exact encounters will never be shiny. So like the starter Pokemon at the beginning of the game, don't soft reset trying to get a shiny of these wasting your time on impossible odds. The box legendary Pokemon Coriadon and Mariadon are also shiny locked when you encounter them for the first time. All gift Pokemon you receive in your playthrough from random NPCs will be shiny locked. The legendary Pokemon in the post game are shiny locked and all Gimme Ghoul chests are also shiny locked. It is worth noting that the starter Pokemon can be bred once you have access to this facility in game so you can try and get a shiny starter this way. Shiny Pokemon like regular Pokemon now appear in the overworld as they do in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So in one way it's easier to identify them but one major thing to know is unlike Pokemon Legends Arceus or other titles that give you a notification of sorts that a shiny Pokemon is spawned, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet this doesn't happen and the only way to notice your shiny Pokemon is actually by seeing it with your own two eyes. Basically from what we know right now the main shiny hunting methods can be boil down to this. Wild encounters when you are exploring the region do have the chance to be shiny. If you are racing through the areas on your ride on Pokemon make sure you are being vigilant as Pokemon will be spawning into these new areas all of the time. You can despawn Pokemon in an area by walking out of that area and then returning to it where the Pokemon or another one will respawn, giving you another chance of a shiny to appear. You can also use the picnic facility which renders new spawns when you return to the overworld, which sometimes can be a quicker method. The odds of a shiny appearing in the overworld are 1 in 4096, but this can be boosted with the shiny charm to 1 in 365, and even further with a sandwich boost called sparkling power which you can stack on top of the shiny charm to give you reduced rates of 1 in 683. But we'll get into the sparkling power and how to obtain this in the next method. Next up is mass outbreaks. Unlike mass outbreaks that appeared in Pokemon Legends Arceus, the ones you will encounter in Pokemon Skull and Violet will produce a lot more Pokemon. I've cleared mass outbreaks that have been well over 100 Pokemon. You can spot when a mass outbreak spawns on your map by identifying a Pokemon sprite icon or a question mark on your region map. The question marks will only appear if you don't have that Pokemon registered in your Pokedex. The basics of a mass outbreak are that the Pokemon will keep respawning after you knock them out or catch them until the outbreak stops giving you a lot of opportunities for these Pokemon to spawn in as shiny Pokemon. This method has direct ways in which you can increase the shiny odds of a Pokemon appearing. Once you have defeated more than 30 Pokemon in a single mass outbreak, every spawn after this will have an increased shiny chance from 1 in 4000 96 to 1 in 2048. If you clear 60 Pokemon, this chance then increases again to 1 in 1365. During mass outbreaks, you can use the auto battle feature to knock out Pokemon a lot quicker, so getting to that 60 number isn't going to be too much of an issue. Just make sure you're keeping track of the amount of Pokemon you're knocking out with this feature. This can be done quite easy by the notifications popping up on your screen every time a Pokemon is knocked out. And once you've knocked out 60 Pokemon and got those increased odds of 1 in 1365, you no longer need to knock any more Pokemon out. You have the maximum odds for a shiny spawning in a mass outbreak. So you can adopt the strategy of leaving the area, despawning the Pokemon in this mass outbreak and then returning to it again. This will render new spawns in this area, giving you that higher rate of a shiny spawning in each time you return to the area. And you can continually leave and return the area to 
get new spawn Pokemon in at these higher odds until hopefully a shiny does appear. You can also adopt this strategy of using the picnic area, setting this up and then leaving it for these mass outbreak shinies to spawn in again, or you can use the walking out and returning whichever one you prefer. Now these odds can be increased even further. If you combine these methods of knocking out a set amount of Pokemon with a secret sandwich recipe that gives you sparkling power boost, your shiny odds reduce drastically. These sandwiches though do need a specific item called Herba Mystica, which is only available to get after you've defeated the Elite Four and become the champion of the region through five star raids. On screen now are some recipes for sandwiches that give you sparkling power. Once made, sparkling power level three with 60 cleared Pokemon in an outbreak increases your odds of a shiny appearing to as low as one in 683, which is pretty great. You can also reduce this further by obtaining the shiny charm when you complete your Pokedex, and this will maximize your odds, meaning the chances of a shiny appearing with 60 Pokemon knocked out combined with level three sparkling power and the shiny charm giving you odds of one in 512 chance of a shiny Pokemon appearing. Eggs are another way to obtain shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. By putting two breedable Pokemon in your party when you start a picnic, these Pokemon will start to produce eggs which show up in your picnic basket. The base rates of an egg being shiny are 1 in 4096, but again these odds can be reduced. The Masuda method has returned in these games, so if you have a foreign Pokemon traded into your game and use this to breed with one of your own Pokemon, the odds of these Pokemon producing a shiny become 1 in 600. This is definitely a method that a lot of you even at your early stages of your playthrough will be able to take advantage of. You can also increase the rate in which eggs are produced by once again making another sandwich. One common sandwich that is used by a number of people is the peanut butter and banana sandwich, which will give you a level two egg power boost, meaning eggs will appear more often, although not necessarily boosting their shiny chances, the amount of eggs you will receive will increase. Unfortunately, sparkling power does not affect the chances of an egg being shiny. So the only things you can reduce these odds are the shiny charm and the Masuda method, which can be stacked together to give you an increased rate of one in 512 chance of producing a shiny egg. Next we come to Terra Raids and although right now we don't have any concrete ways to shiny hunt these Pokemon more effectively, they can be shiny. These raids aren't affected by sparkling power used by sandwiches or the shiny charm that you get from completing your Pokedex, so the rates of shiny Pokemon appearing in Terra Raids are always going to be 1 in 4096. The only way to shiny hunt the Terra Raids is really by doing a lot of them and hoping you get lucky. But as soon as we do have a better method to reduce the odds and have a way to shiny hunt terror raids, we will cover them here on the channel. I hope you found this shiny hunting guide useful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more methods and updates on shiny hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the future. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck shiny hunting. Until next time, bye bye.